Free speech advocates are calling for action when it comes to free speech on college campuses. In March, the president signed an executive order to ensure free speech, but just two months later, a pro-life event at the University of Texas had to be evacuated after being smoke bombed. We're now getting a look at how college students feel about the First Amendment at institutions of higher education. According to a new report by College Pulse, 53% of students favor protecting free speech rights, while 48% say it is important to promote an inclusive and welcoming society. When it comes to hate speech, a majority of students believe it should be protected under the First Amendment. Here to explain more about the study and what it means for the future of free speech on college campuses is Yvette Alexander. She is the Director of Learning and Impact at the Knight Foundation, which helped to conduct that study, and she joins us now via Skype. Great to have you. Thank you for having me. So were you surprised by these results? What jumped out at you? Um, actually, we weren't. They're pretty consistent with the studies that we've done in previous years, both with high school students and with college students, to measure their attitudes on uh, free speech, free expression, and also inclusivity concerns. Um, this is something that we care about deeply as we continue to monitor attitudes in the emerging generation around um, these issues. Now, what are some of the, the areas of, of immediate concern where there could be reform. I mean, the president has said that uh, he wants to take action to ensure free speech on campus. I think he signed an executive order to the effect of trying to help promote the First Amendment on campus, but it's, it's obviously a complicated issue. And I remember when I was on campus, this fight was going on, and that was a long time ago, believe it or not. So <laughs> what needs to happen now? Sure. Uh, well, I can tell you what we have heard from college students. Um, overall, the studies show that college students do have strong support for free speech and free expression rights, um, with the majority of students supporting those rights in a, in a variety of forms, including um, you know, our kind of fundamental rights in the Constitution, as well as campus um, speakers and such. But we also heard um, differing opinions on whether it's more important to promote an inclusive society um, that welcomes diverse groups um, or to protect the free speech rights in their entirety. Um, we found that findings were sharply divided by gender, race, religion, and sexual orientation. Um, so from the findings and the student feedback that we've gotten, what we hear students saying is that free and free expression is important, but so is diversity. And so as educators and policymakers think about this in the future, um, college students would like them to consider both values. So you said that, um, which I think is fair and reasonable, those two things don't have to be directly in conflict, promoting a sort of diverse and inclusive environment and being open to free speech. Um, but break down a little bit of, you said there were gender and race divides. Talk a little bit more about those results. Sure. Um, I think one of the most, um, well, just let me start by saying that in our previous study with Gallup last year, we found, we asked students how important is it to promote um, free speech rights and how important is it to promote um, inclusion and diverse society. And we found strong support for both. And then in this uh, survey, we asked them to choose which was the greater um, priority for society. And something that was surprising to uh, me personally is to find that uh, men and women uh, fell quite differently on what hmm. they considered the greater priority, even more so than race. It was a predictor of um, whether they would favor free speech over inclusion or inclusion over free speech. So we found that a substantial majority of college men, 71% said that promoting free speech was the more important priority over diversity inclusion issues. And we found that over half, 58% of college women um, said the opposite. So they said that promoting a diverse and inclusive society was the greater concern for them. And what, what was the race breakdown? Sure. Um, it, uh, we, we asked about hate speech, and so there was a very clear um, gender breakdown as well as race breakdown on hate speech. So 74% um, of men uh, favored protection of um, hate speech, 48% of black students favored um, continued protection of hate speech under the First Amendment, 46% uh, of women, 45% uh, Jewish, 35% gay and lesbian students. Um, so you can see how certain groups um, show lesser and lesser support for the more extreme forms of free speech expression, such as hate speech. Any action items going forward then, Yvette, that you'd like to see in response to this, uh, this study? Do you have further surveys that you're planning? And are there any recommendations that you're going to put forward for college campuses? Sure. Um, I think I come from a research perspective, so um, I think action items for, for
for uh, myself and others who are doing research into First Amendment rights and um, campus considerations. I think a, a definite ac action item is to further explore some of the motivations and concerns around this. One of the reasons why we're studying um, these issues and studying them with different uh, demographic groups and seeing how that you know teases out is to see you know where student concerns are and to how how to further um, the dialogue around both free speech and diversity inclusion um, in a campus format. And so I hope that educators and other researchers will continue to explore some of the why behind um, the reason that we see this sort of breakdown. Interesting stuff, really fascinating. Thank you so much, Yvette, great to have you. Thanks. Thank you for having me. We'll have more rising after this.